<laughs> now, our, uh, our next cruise is with Celebrity, a uh, five-star luxury cruise on board the Celebrity Century. And we were here for Planet Cruise. This has been the top seller for next year to the Far East in Dubai, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic itinerary. You know the Celebrity product, again, very stylish. Um, really, really beautiful. And again, they, they really do celebrity push to try and exceed your, uh, your expectations. They're modern, they're sophisticated. This particular ship is 71,000 tons. It means it's about a mid sized ship. And that means you've got, uh, whew, how many, say about 1,800 people on board is the maximum number of people oh, on board. That's a nice number. It's a nice right? number on board. Lots of space for you to go and enjoy. A good ratio there with the crew who are going to be looking after you. Remember, all your food's included when you go around here as well. You can eat all these different restaurants. Um, and again, this has had a reef. It's been refurbished recently, or salsadized, as we like to say. So you've got a wonderful choice of having an intimate ship with really high-tech, modern features, like a beautiful big salon on there as well. Um, and I'm a big fan of celebrities, and we were cruising with them in May. They're, they are five-star luxury. They're modern, they're contemporary, they're slick. Mm. Uh, and the food and service, yeah, breathtaking. But I may have cruised with celebrity. I've never been to the Far East. You have. So we're mm. going to fly you over to Singapore, aren't we? This is true. Yeah, we're over to Singapore, and a wonderful chance now for you to have uh, a chance to see uh, this wonderful place that sums up the mysterious east. We are here, Keith. We've got two nights. Two nights stay in a four-star four hand-picked hotel. hotel. Uh, this is the commercial centre of Southeast Asia. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's basically a wonderful mix of modern high-rise buildings, Chinese shop houses with red-tiled roofs, sturdy Victorian buildings, Buddhist temples and Arab bazaars. Uh, it's incredible. Go shopping on Orchard Road, go and visit the wildlife at the Jurong Bird Park, maybe take a Singapore River cruise. Uh, there's so much to see and do. And we are actually um, also throwing in a free, a free tour are here we? for you as well, yeah, taking you over um, to a wonderful place, a wonderful, uh, wonderful island where you can go and enjoy yourself, Sentosa Island, which is wow. like a huge fun party. There's loads of things to do. There's a cable car, you can go wild, wild wildlife walking through the uh, beautiful beaches for you to relax on as well. Um, really, really incredible place. So, two fantastic days, but then you've got a 14-night cruise and you've got a few days at sea, but we're making our way over to India, aren't we? We are. One of my favourite places in the world and... Uh, the first port, of course, is uh, Cochin. This is incredible. A wonderful chance for you to go uh, and explore the, the southwest coast of the Indian Peninsula, uh, Kerala. And I posted pictures on Facebook and tweeted about this earlier. Check them out. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is a great chance for you to enjoy one of the finest natural harbours, to head out to Fort Cochin, which was built by the Portuguese for wonderful views and the history of the spice trade. Uh, and then again, just to go and lay on a beach or go and visit some of the local elephants. Again, elephants are holy in India, you know, so you often you'll see an elephant just walking down the road and the, the, the people will drive around it because you can't touch you, they can't touch the elephant, you leave it there, or they'll sit in the middle of a junction and everyone's kind of waiting for it to move. See, I, it's I, incredible, <laughs> it's an incredible experience. I, I cannot it's wait to wonderful. visit India. And I will do it on a cruise ship because everything's organised, you know. It's Absolutely, yeah, it's, it's, and it's a beautiful, Kerala is stunning. And then we'll go to New Mangalore next, Sean, this is beautiful. A bustling city with rich historical um, uh, influences, surrounded by coconut uh, and palm trees and the rolling uh, Sahidra Mountain. Mountains and this wonderful majestic river that flows towards the Arabian Sea. You can see some of the temples that you can go and visit here. Um, it's incredible. It really, really is. You can head out to the Mobility uh, Thousand Pillar Temple or my favourite beach, which is uh, Panamabu Beach, which is about 10 kilometres from the city. Uh, you take a taxi out. Some of the tours will take you out that way as well. Absolutely gorgeous. And just near there is my favourite temple, the Gokranath Temple, which is really, really stunning. So much to see and do here. I can't do it justice, but it's gorgeous. And then Goa, of course, next. Goa, amazing, amazing place. Uh, chance to take it easy. This is the, the wealthiest part of India in many ways. Uh, it's got different rules and different ways. It's basically the beach capital. Even the Indians themselves come here to go on holiday. Um, and again, it's miles and miles of untouched beaches. Wonderful chance to go and see waterfalls and go bird watching. There's a big bird, you know, a lot of bird fans head out to Goa. Um, but the real big thing is the beaches. You see in Barga Beach oh, right. and lots of old Portuguese colonial architecture as well. And amazing curry. How can I not mention the food? Oh, <laughs> I would just love to go on that beach. But uh, yeah. Mumbai is next, isn't it? Mumbai, yeah, the home of Bollywood. It's the glamour capital of India. Um, and it's, <laughs> oh, it's, well, it's amazing. I mean, you've got, well, the, the Indians, of course, worship many, many gods. And, and you've got that feeling. So there's, there's kind of little gods everywhere you go. If you get a taxi, there'll be four or five on the dashboard. Uh, you go out to the caves here in Elephant Island, which is a wonderful thing to go and do. The National Gandhi Museum, of course. Find out the history of Gandhi. But Dobie Gat is the thing I'd definitely say and go and do. It's the world's largest outdoor laundry where they don't use washing machines. They just beat it on a bit of rock and they wash it with water. And the hospitals, all the top hotels, all get their washing done here. And the people live where they work. It's, an ama it's a mind-blowing thing. It really, really is. That's Dobie Gat. Definitely go and do Dobie Gat. 
Now we've uh, we've got two days at sea. The days at sea on Celebrity are amazing. You've got these wonderful wicker beds. You've got you know gorgeous lounges, swimming mm. pools, five star service. But where are we heading to, Keith? Then we're going to head over to Muscat. So this is the pearl of Mystic Arabia, one of the oldest civilizations on the Arabian Peninsula. And it's wedged between the Arabian Gulf and the, the Al Hajar Mountains. And it's bustling with forts, castles, towers, and mosques. The Grand Mosque is a huge sandstone building, which you're seeing here is well worth exploring. Mutra Souk, if you want to go and haggle with the smell of spices in your nostrils, or take a four wheel drive safari out into the, into the desert. It's amazing. Even got a good fish market. And then another day at sea. And then we're making our way over to Dubai. And you're actually overnight on board here. You do, which gives you a great chance for enjoying this place. Um, nothing existed here pretty much 20 years ago. Now it's a huge, <laughs> a huge kind of temple to the work of man. Um, and it's incredible. It's the world's largest shopping mall doesn't appeal. Traditional souks are still there. You go and haggle for gold. You've got the world's poshest hotel, the Burj Ari, which is apparently seven star with the underwater hotel. You've got the world's tallest building, uh, the Burj Khalifa, where you can just look out over the whole uh, of the area. You can go ice, you can go ice, um, ice skating and skiing, or go to the massive aquarium. It's got world-class golfing. So much to see and do. I mean, I can see why this is the, the top selling cruise right now for next year. You know, Singapore, India and Dubai all in the one holiday and you know if you are looking at other you know travel agents we know Planet Cruise have got an outstanding price on this today I think bear in mind Planet Cruise are 10 years old as a company we are in potentially 26 million homes tonight you know so w it really gives us a real edge when it comes to pricing as well let's just look at the ship so she's been salsadized recently salsadized that's right yeah so um, lots for you to see and enjoy uh, again lots of different restaurants for you to go and enjoy as well uh, the ones that are included they always have a couple of fee restaurants if you want to have something extra special just the two of you celebrating something um, you've got a wonderful sushi cafe on board a great little coffee house um, and again a great selection of open deck areas you're seeing a balcony here but you've mm. so much open deck space for you to get a suntan and and also that mile where you're sailing. Uh, so just to recap, so we've got an outstanding price, 1589. Bear in mind that's including your return flights, all of your all overseas transfers. You get an extra two nights in that four-star hand-picked hotel in Singapore. So you really get to make the most of Singapore there. Uh, you get that extra tour that's included and you are overnight on board in Dubai. Now I think when, it, when we are booking our holidays, you know, we work very hard and you want to make sure that your holiday is perfect in every single way and that's what planet crews are are so good at all of their cruises are quality assured so that means they're atoll and abs are protected they include all of your overseas transfers any hotels are always quality hotels with great reviews online in central locations and flights are with world renowned airlines so every aspect of your holiday is really taken care of and it's as perfect as humanly possible now excursion wise I mentioned these earlier you can actually book these through planet cruise i've done a few of these in my time and the value is incredible. Now, you don't have to book them now, but they are on the website. But I would definitely encourage you to have a look at those. Matt Jura on Bird Park is the world's largest free flight aviary. You can walk into it and it's, it's a stunning experience. Well, over 8,000 eight, birds? Over 8,000 birds. You just walk in and it's just all around you. It's a stunning thing to do. And uh, don't forget, everything is available on the Planet Cruise website as well. You can also watch the show back. If you want to watch the show a little bit later on the week, you can actually do that online as well.